Okay, good morning, welcome to... Counting number 17A. Counting 17A, so today we started a new chapter um, in our um, counting and probability book called Committees and Combinations. Yeah. And um, so we learned about the difference between, or not just today, but we learned a little bit more about the difference between when order matters... And order doesn't matter. When order doesn't matter. So how many ways are there to arrange these three snap cubes in a line if order matters? So, well, then there's, you can arrange them six different ways. You have three choices for the first one, two, and then one. Right. But if order doesn't matter, like if you just want to pick three of these three, yeah. then how many ways are there to do that? There's just one. There's just one. Okay. That one. So as a as kind of a fun example, what we're going to do is we're going to compute the odds for Powerball. Have you ever heard of Powerball before? Uh, I don't know. I think so. What do you think it is? What do you I think, think it's a lottery. All right. What is the lottery? What do you think a lottery is? Well, I think you 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 buy a ticket and then if someone if your ticket is it's like in Powerball you have a ticket with numbers on it and if the numbers on the balls match the numbers on your ticket, then you win. Yeah. And so, that's exactly right. So the way Powerball works is there's five balls picked out of 59. So there's 59 balls numbered 1, 2, 3, up to 59 wow. in a little, I don't know, some sort of container. And they pick out five randomly. And then separately they pick one ball out of a different container that has 35 balls. And that's, that's the Powerball. Mm -hmm. And so you have to match the first five Plus, that one. plus number six. What if you just match the power wall? Ah. Or you just match all five? Yeah, there's also separate prizes for that. In fact, the last thing we're going to do is talk about what happens if you just match the power ball, because that's kind of a funny uh, math problem, because the answer is not what you think it is. <clears throat> Let's first figure out what the odds are of matching everything. Okay. okay? Yep. So there's only going to be one way to do it, right? Yeah. So there's going to be one out of something. So how are we going to figure out how many combinations there are of five balls out of 59 and then the... Where order matters here. Ah, good question, actually. Order does not matter. Uh, order does not matter. So they, they take the balls out and then they put them in, in increasing order. So it doesn't matter the order. So well, you've got 59 times 58 times 57 times 56 times 55. Yeah. And then... And then you have 35 choices for the power ball. 35 choices for the power ball. I better be careful about putting a plus there. And then, then you have to divide this by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Because that's the overlap. Okay. And then when this for this separate ball, do I multiply or do I add? Well, you multiply. Okay, why? Because for every one arrangement of the power ball, you have all of these arrangements for the regular balls. Yeah. yeah. So we have to figure out what this number is hmm. and see if it matches what the Powerball yeah. website says it is. Okay. So let's okay. let's let's do that calculation in the next video. Okay.